Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Angela. So today's video is a Too Faced makeup tutorial and everything is going to be Too Faced. Um, the only things I will not be using, uh, because I don't usually use them, is any setting powder from Too Faced. I'm, I don't use setting powders most of the time. Also, I'm not using any Too Faced brushes, I'm using the Tarte set which I bought. So I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this I got in a darker shade, it's called Deep Tan. I got it in a darker shade just so that I won't have to um, do any colour correcting. Okay, and I run my mouth. I'm using the uh, viewfinder. So I'm just going to take my brush from Tarte and I'm going to go. And just ding ding ding. It blends pretty well if you can see. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to use my uh, Born This Way foundation in sand and this is going to be more of my highlighting shade So, and also to even out my skin tone as well because um, the, the one, the tan that I use is a bit I'm just going to put it all over my face including under my eyes and all the areas that I need to I'm going to highlight the middle section of my face, mainly it's what you would call the star section, your forehead area, your under eye area, uh, nose, and then this mouth area to the chin. I really like this brush, it's like really easy to just pat everything in. Uh, the other thing I'm not using is primer in case you guys didn't see but I've not used primer at all. Um, because. Normally I don't use primer, so this is actually a normal day for me. I'm going to go out, so I'm not using primer. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I got from the chocolate shop um, Christmas in New York set. And I'm just going to squeeze out some of that and put that onto my lids. Now I move on to my palette, which smells so good. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for colors that I don't usually go for. I want to try the green and the purple and this blue but I don't know which one to go for. Before that I'm going to use either Toffee Crunch or Tootsie to do my uh, brows first. I don't know which will work better. I'm trying Toffee Crunch first. Yeah. Toffee Crunch could work. I'm just gonna go with Toffee Crunch first. Yeah, works. Works like a charm. So I'm just gonna fill it in as I usually fill my brows. I like shadows for eyebrows because they give you much more coverage. Um, and, and also the other thing is that it doesn't hurt your brows as much because when you use pencils, they can be a little bit harsh. But of course, if you don't have much brows, then um, a pencil will give you much more fuller looking brows, natural. Fuller looking but natural brows. Because you can draw the strokes in. Whereas if you use a powder, you kind of look like you just painted something. Okay. So the colours I will be using are Pound Cake. And I'll be using... Uh, Raspberry Rose, which is this pink, which is really chalky looking, and then Sugared Raisin, and then I'll have some blending colours which I'll look into later on. Uh, so, because I'm going out for, you know, some, I'm not going out for an event, but I will actually use the other colours and do a much brighter look for when I go out for some event or whatever, you know. I'm gonna start with Raspberry Rose, which is that pink shade, and I'm putting it all over the lid. Love the color. Look, it just went all over. A lot of fallout. But this is a nice, nice, nice shade of pink that if you were fair skin, you would actually appreciate. And even on me, it actually is showing up, which is quite amazing. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna brush off the fallout. Off my face, off. Off. Okay. Alright. Now, move in a little bit. I'm going to take next Hound Cake, which is that shimmery pink shade. And put that all over as well. All that came out was shimmer actually. So I'm going to use my finger and see what it's like. Yeah, I shouldn't use a soft brush. You need something dense for that. Ooh, nice, beautiful color. See that? Sugar and raisin and see what that's like. And we'll put it in the middle. The colour is nice, but as you can see, there's a lot of fallout, so be careful of that. I'm not done with the brows, um, I mean the eyes yet, but I'm going to use the shade Toffee Crunch, and this is going to help me to contour. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use Toffee Crunch again, so I just want to make sure I don't dirty the brush, I use the same thing. I like contouring my nose, although I don't do it like most of the time, but if I, I put on a full face of makeup, I will most of the time contour because if you're not going to contour, then don't put a full face of makeup on. Okay. Like whenever you wear foundation, your face loses dimension. So it makes sense for you to actually contour. Okay, and the thing that I'm a little worried about is um, I wanted to show you the bronzer, but the bronzer is kind of light on me, so we'll see. Can you see the bronzer? Okay, we'll look at that later on. Let's go back to the eyes. So I'm going to use Toffee Crunch as my sort of mixing shade so I'm gonna go in this way and just go up like that okay I guess toffee gr toffee crunch was not the color to use I'm gonna use Tootsie which is a dark brown and that's gonna come in like that into the crease area so what I'm gonna do is taking Tootsie I'm gonna go on the outer corner just like that first and then I'm going to go into the crease and then I'll slowly shade that bit in this bit, yeah slowly shade that okay and then the next thing I'll do after after I've blended everything in right now I haven't yet but once I've done that I'll bring um what's that shade? I will bring Toffee Crunch into the crease because Toffee Crunch seems to be a bit more natural compared to compared to um what's this one that I'm using? Tootsie. Okay, so I'll I'll just blend continue blending out first. And usually I make a sort of wing out, but today I don't want to because Oh yeah, the other thing I don't have is eyeliner, so since I don't have eyeliner, I can just come out a bit, like that, just a bit, and then in it goes. And Toffee Crunch is going to go into my crease. So, if you're not good at doing this kind of makeup, it's good to put a tape on first. Actually, you guys, I'm quite annoyed that it looks pretty much like every other time I've done makeup. So, I'm going to use Jingle Berry, which is the purple shade, and that's going to go on top. And it will focus mainly here, but even if you go to the left side, which already has a dark shade, it's fine because there will still be that dimension okay but I want to go higher a little so 
ya [lor] the reason I'm doing this is because they look the same the colours they look like every other tutorial I've done so I'm just gonna try this shade out and see what it's like it's the most safe colour I could think of then I'm gonna use huckleberry and that's gonna be at the corner of my eye so just here like that and then slowly go in into the crease into the crease and then just here and I'm gonna blend that in using a blending brush oh it's such a strong colour on hindsight I shouldn't have done my face first because I have so much cleaning up to do but basically I'm using this huckleberry shade to sort of define my eye and make it look as if I am going to put on eyeliner but I'm not now I'm going to do my so my eyes are done now I'm going to just blend in my this area my contour area of my nose so I'm going to go upwards although people usually go downwards right okay you can go downwards or you can go upwards I'm going upwards because I made it quite wide so I'm going to go up a bit so that it looks a little bit thinner but still a very natural looking though okay I take my brush and I try to get rid of whatever fallout I had just now I don't think that's possible but okay so I'm gonna have to clean under my eye and then redo my eye makeup uh, my concealer and con uh, foundation in that area okay I just realized I don't have eyeliner from Too Faced which is quite annoying because I think I may need eyeliner for this we'll see let me see what it looks like with mascara on <gasps> oh I just realized it's not recording but basically I was talking about putting uh, mascara on and I've already put on the mascara the side doesn't have it so you can see the difference see so I'm just going to complete the other eye as well so that's both of my eyes done with, with the mascara now I'm going to um, do my concealer and stuff underneath my eyes again so just all over again and then I'll put foundation on and then just clean that area up I'm also going to blend in these areas what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush and use the chocolate soleil shade and just blend it in and also go down my jawline and down my neck so that I can get rid of my double chin which I really hate. I have to blend it out well and then if there's any mistake like that then I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just go over it to get rid of any mistake. Then I take chocolate covered strawberry, which is the, the only blush shade they've given, and that goes on my blush, on uh, my cheeks, I mean. Mm -hmm. Smile and just dab, 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 and slowly blend away. Oh, it's a really pretty color on brown skin, actually. It's very natural. But I think anyone else who's lighter who uses this, this is going to be like really uh, bright for you guys. But I like it because I'm dark and it looks natural do the same on the other side okay next I'm going to take uh, the, the highlighter shade that they have and it's called inner light right there and inner light is going to be used on the top of my cheeks smile and just the mm. okay I don't see much of it coming off mm. okay I don't really like this one. It doesn't seem to look like a highlighter to me. But. Okay, it's showing up now. Now I look like I'm highlighted. Yeah. 
Yes. And then down my nose bridge. So I quite like it now. Now I like it. Cupid's bow, but mainly nose bridge. I love to highlight those bridges. If I do full makeup, I need to do that. It makes me happy. And then you can do a bit under and there. Yeah. And then here. Normally, I would put on a lighter shade over there, but I don't have a lighter shade one. So. And then some here. So, because that's where the light sort of bends. So you can see that highlight. And that's the face now I what else do I need to do lips here's the final thing which is the lip I'm using the Too Faced melted chocolate liquefied long wear lipstick and we'll see how this goes I like the smell I'm trying to get it as matte as possible okay so this is the look. What do you think? Ignore my hair and just look at the look. The eyes. Hopefully that looks good. And then the cheeks. Ooh. And then the lips. I think overall the palette is pretty good, especially with the brighter colours. I think you can get really nice, interesting colours for the holiday season. So give me a like, thumbs up, please subscribe and uh, you will be able to catch me with more videos every single day leading up to Christmas. So that's about 25 videos for the month of December. So I will see you guys in the next video, which is most likely tomorrow. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Merry Christmas.